Welcome to the second video of MD Trash tutorial list. In the first video together we learned how to use Anaconda to install MD Trash and it was straightforward. So in the second video we will learn some basic stuff on handling trajectories or PDB files with, with, with MD Trash. So I mean by handling here uh, how to load a trajectory to MD Trash and how to slice sub selection of your protein or from your trajectory and create a new trajectory and how to combine trajectories together and how to align trajectories there are many stuff you can do but as a start we will learn today how to load slice align and save new trajectories and combine them so the first thing we will do is to import indtraj into our environment so if you say import indtraj as MD or whatever you want. I will say import MD trajectory MD, and then to load um, trajectory using MD trajectory, you just need to use MD dot load. No need to define any extension as MD trajectory is smart enough to recognize the extension of your trajectory, which could be DCD or Gromax or whatever the format you are using. And then you need to have a topology, which is your PDB of your system. And of course, we need to assign the trajectory. We need to assign it to a, a name. We we create a variable called trash or whatever, and then I will load the trajectory. And these two uh, files I have here for the sake of tutorials, I brought some random stuff, random files, which is uh, a DCD file and its own PDB. It's a short trajectory just for the sake of the tutorial. So I will create an, a variable called trash, and I will load the files, and let's run it. Okay, and then we can ask MD trash what is trash? What what did it? And it will say you have a, an MD trajectory, which is 100 frames, very short, and more than 65 atoms and 20,000 residues, and there is uh, the unit cell uh, information. That's cool. Get some coffee. Okay, but as you see, there are a lot of atoms and. If you are working on your personal computer and uh, you want to exclude anything other than protein, maybe your protein is solvated in water or solvent, and we are interested in performing the analysis only on, on the protein, not on the solvent. So to reduce the computational cost, we can sub-select the protein only from the trajectory and dealing with it. So the, to do that, it's very simple. We just need to slice the topology corresponding to your selection and then slice from the trajectory. What I mean by slicing, I will create a variable called protein cell or whatever. And then from my trajectory topology, I will select only protein. And also there are many easy way to select an MD trash, very similar to VMD. I could say protein and name C alpha. So this will select only protein atoms and only the C alpha atoms. So let's keep it to protein and see what will happen. Cool. Now I selected the topology I want from my uh, uh, from my topology or from my system. Then I will create tra another trajectory called trash protein or whatever you want to call it. And then I will ask in the trash. I will ask it from my trash, the initial trash of the whole system, slice the part corresponding to my topology selection or second topology selection which was only protein okay so let's run it and see what will happen cool so now let's see what is the trash protein and we can spot the difference it's another trajectory it's actually the same trajectory with the same number of frames 100 frames but you see the number of atom decreased because we excluded anything other than proteins and we had a lot of water molecules around the protein so we have only 5,980 atoms and 389 residues. So this could be very professional if you are working with huge data and you want to save the memory in your computer. So because it's nonsense to have everything loaded into your computer while you only need to perform the analysis on the protein. That's cool. So now we have a trajectory vault system and a trajectory of the protein. Okay, so as you know, when you go for analysis with MD, the first thing you do is to perform an RMSD analysis. 
and to perform another MSD analysis you have to align your trajectory into the first frame or whatever the reference you want to have so I want to create an aligned trajectory sorry I want to align my trajectory into the first frame and save it okay so I can create a variable called traj aligned and then to align it into the first frame I say my trajectory the whole one superpose my trajectory to zero. Zero here means the first frame. Okay. So let's ask MD Traj what is Traj aligned. Of course, it is the same as the first one because we just aligned it. We didn't choose any part of the selection. So I'm just showing you how to, to superpose the, uh, the trajectory. Uh, I mean, it's nonsense to do it alone. It's a part of different analysis. But anyway, maybe you're interested in having an online trajectory saved in your computer for other analysis or whatever. So we can ask uh, MD Trash to save this trajectory in my computer aligned because maybe you don't you don't want to do this again. You just need to load the online trajectory ready for some analysis or whatever. So. It has an extension or a function called save or trajectory.save DCD if you want to save it as a DCD. So I will ask mdtrash to trajaligned.save to DCD or whatever I will call it more aligned to DCD. And then I will run. And here I have it. Okay. In my working directory. Okay. Also, another cool stuff that we can do with MD Trash is maybe you have run your simulations in different parts and you have the first part of the trajectory and then the second part and blah blah. So you don't need to perform the analysis separated. You can combine them into a one variable and you perform all the analysis on this single trajectory. And this is very cool, really. I like this. If you create a variable called compine, you can just ask MD Trash to compine traj which was traj1 and then traj aligned so we had here 100 frames and we have here 100 frames and then let's combine them cool and then let's ask md traj what's compiled is it will say an md trajectory with 200 frames yeah it's nonsense to combine an online trajectory with all with is the same trajectory but this is just for the sake of the tutorial okay cool so now we have a combined trajectory and then if you have more trajectories you can say traj blah blah or whatever okay and i want to ask you a question what could happen if we aligned the first traj with the traj protein i will give you a second to think what could happen Right, it will give us an error. You see, the number of atoms in the first selection is different from the number of atoms in the second trash. So you cannot combine two trajectories with different uh, number of atoms. So MD trash is smart and, and it will tell you that this is there is a problem in the system. So you can only combine parts from the same system from the same trajectory. Okay. So let's get it back into Trash Aligned. Sorry. And then I would like to save it again. Compine.save DCD. And then let's check it. We have it here. Compine.dcd. So as you see, this is very simple. And you will realize how it's important when you are dealing with a lot of trajectories and huge uh, data. So as a start, we learned how to load a trajectory, learned how to slice sub trajectory from our trajectory, and we learned how to align it and how to save it and how to combine to combine multiple trajectories. And before I close the video, of course, this is not everything you can do with MD Trash. This is just simple introduction together we can extend this but 
as just I'm trying to make you familiar before we go to performing the RMST or RMSF or whatever the analysis we're going to learn together. So that's it. And let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And stay tuned for more videos so we will learn together. See you.